Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very quick video here. It's going to be a quick look at S Note for the Galaxy Note 2. So, uh, this is my main smartphone, as you do know, and the, the S Pen is, of course, something that is pretty cool and interesting if you buy the Galaxy Notes. So, because of the big display and all those things. So, uh, immediately when you take the pen out, as you can see, it goes to a page here. Uh, so you can discover your inner creativity. They are basically showing off the S-Note app and a lot of layouts here you can use like for a diary, a, a receipt and a ton of these things. So you can also see the list here of things that I've been doing um, earlier. And if we go ahead, you can see, of course, we can just remove this thing, but it's kind of nice to have this shortcut, like, immediately when you take out the pen, you can have, so you can mm -hmm. have the S note come and uh, pop up. Yeah, that's, that's his number. And that's, that's, that's a buddy of mine. Of course, he will be here at uh, four, basically, today. So, when we go ahead and create the notes here, is normal notes. Uh... If you're if you're used to the normal Galaxy Note uh, or the Note uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note from last year, you the first thing you will notice here about the S Pen is that it's improved by a ton, and it's basically the sensitivity that I'm talking about. The sensitivity is so much more improved. And uh, when we go ahead, let's see here. If you select a big pen and a nice color there, you can see that immediately when you don't even touch the screen. You can see that it will notice what you're doing. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not when you are in the pen mode, but when we go to the delete tool or eraser or whatever you know calling it, you can see that I don't even touch the screen, but you can see kind of where I will land if I go down. You know, so that's pretty pretty useful. And of course, if you go ahead and start off here from the side, this is basically the the. If you go to editor mode, there's two modes here, basically one is editor mode and one is like viewing mode when you can move around on the screen if you have a lot of things going on. But of course, uh, you can also zoom in, just like this. So let's say we create a guy here. There we go. We can immediately zoom in on that guy. Oops. That's why we should go to that mode. So, created a guy there, let's go to editor mode again. And um, of course you have different pen modes. You have the normal pen, you have uh, different colors, you have, what else? Yeah, you can, you, can, you can have, you can, you know, if you, let's say you have a picture over here and you wanna have a specific color, you can use, use this mode over here uh, to select that kind of uh, uh, spot and have that color. When we go down here, you can see that we can create some hair. And we can also uh, change the thickness of the pen. So we can have a really big pen. And the harder you push down, the more you will see. So the, the sensitivity is really amazing compared to original Galaxy Note. I'm probably going to make a quick comparison video with that. And uh, if you go ahead and use the razor tool now again. There we go. You can also see that we have another mode over here. This is basically for doing math, and if you're doing a lot of those things and calculations and cool things like that, this is very, very interesting and a quick, nice way to do some math. Uh, let's see here, if we just go ahead and grab a normal pen. There we go. Let's say we wanna know what five, let's say we wanna know what five plus five Minus five equals. Ooh, oops. Let's do it again. Of course, it's a little bit harder to do this behind the behind the big camera. There we go. Five plus five. You can search. 
and it will bring up more from Alpha. It would be good though that if, if the Asnet app, if something in the future could integrate War from Alpha into the Asnet app, just as Apple did with Siri, War from Alpha is basically integrated into Siri, but here uh, it basically opens up the browser. Here we go. And if we go ahead and remove here pretty quick. You can also see that, of course, we have a normal pen uh, if you just want to type, like uh, with the keyboard. If you don't want to use that pen, of course, you can type normally. I mean, that's, that's kind of obvious. And you have everything you need here, every single symbol. And of course, you can go and uh, uh, write with the pen as well. So if you want to create an A here, if you want to create a B over here, it's, it's very, very easy. There we go, a nine, no, Q. Okay, there we go. So of course you can also use that text mode if you, if you like those things. If you go ahead and go back to eraser. Okay, that's interesting, the eraser doesn't work on that. Hmm, <clears throat> weird. And then of course, this is very important, you can go back, regret what uh, you've been doing. We, if you go ahead and tap down here, you can also see that we can have a normal page or we can go to layout and of course this is something also that's very useful if you if you're typing a lot with a pen or if you are drawing something or whatever and let's say you're touching the screen with your hand then you can enable this mode at the bottom which basically means that you can't do anything you you can't uh, you know you can't touch you can't draw anything with your fingers this is very good if you want to rest your hand uh, on the screen uh, very, very, very useful. I don't remember if that was a feature that was available on the original Galaxy Note in the S Note app, but very, very, very extremely useful. Uh, if you go ahead and tap here, this is also very important. If you want to take a picture, import pictures, record a video, uh, you want to have maps, uh, or you want to import that, you want to import forms, then you tap over there, and then we can import whatever, and then you get a ton of tools here to make it bigger or re remove it or whatever you want to do so very 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 useful I, I gotta say and then of course you can record something like hello, hello. as you can see it works now we also have a mode up here which I'm really not sure uh, yeah you can record when you're drawing something basically I'm not quite sure how you find those uh, kind of uh, sequences later, uh, but they should, should, shouldn't be that hard to find. And then of course, if you want to search for something with Wolfram Alpha, you can just go ahead and type in here with either your S Pen app or, um, you know, with, with the keyboard. So uh, a quick uh, demonstration here, there of the S, S Note app. I'm using it kind of like daily uh, to write down things and uh, it, it really is amazing. Uh, especially for me, uh, that's coming from a original Galaxy Note, that first the pen is bigger, the sensitivity is better, uh, the pen has a different kind of form factor which makes it easier to hold and also makes it easier to find this button down here that you may want to use sometimes. So I'm probably also going to make a video about another cool thing that you can do with the S Pen app that I use kind of a lot when, when I want to do some fun, when I want to take a screenshot and when I want to draw something. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to make a video about that, but not in this video. This is a quick demonstration here, a little bit of S Pen, and um, showing off the S Note app. But I think it's awesome, it's great, it is the best. Yeah, have a good one.